Yeah, school's been stressing me out a lot, man. I just, I bombed my exam. I had a solid F on there, and my grade already in the class is a C, so it's gonna probably bring it down to like a low D or maybe an F, and I don't wanna retake the class. So I don't know what else to do, and it's in chemistry, it's in chemistry too, which is a very tough mm -hmm. and very hard, you know, subject. So I've been trying to get tutored and everything. I just, it's not comprehending to my mind yeah. on how to, you know, how to do the stuff. So mm -hmm. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, so you said that you go to tutoring? Yes, I go to tutoring, yes, so, every day after school. Okay, and the tutor there, do they understand that you're having difficulty picking up the material? They do understand, but they felt like that I need to study more at home. I just needed to like do more one on one myself and stuff, like, you know, go to them all the time, which they are helping me tremendously, but they feel like I just need you know, study more myself at home. Mm -hmm. And so are you studying more at home? I am studying more. I feel like I can study a little bit harder. There's a lot of distractions at home. That's why I like to, you know, go to a tutor. Mm -hmm. I like being at the school because there's a lot less distractions. There's a lot more distractions. I have my roommate at home bugging me, mm -hmm. have his friends coming over after TV, I have my phone. Mm -hmm. This is multiple distractions. That's mm -hmm. why I like, you know, like I said, like being at the school so I can be able to be with a tutor, be around people that you know that's going to help me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think that, yeah, studying maybe in the library on your own might be a little bit more helpful rather than going home to study. I agree. Yeah. Um, but, so you just said that you bombed your last test? I totally bombed so it. So were you using, that. <laughs> were you using the tutor before you bombed the test? Or I was using the tutor before I bombed the test, but not as much as I was after. Okay. Afterwards, when I realized that I didn't really know too much on the exam, that's when I was really like, yeah, I need to get to it. I really need to, to focus up because I don't want to retake chemistry too again, you know, next semester. So that's why I really got to it. That's why I really like trying to like tighten up just a little bit more. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So have you tried to visit your professor's office hours or talk to him? <clears throat> to be honest with you, I had once or twice, but he's a very busy professor. You mm -hmm. know, he has a lot of students he's taking care of and everything else. So he, has, he I don't have too much time to really focus on like pinpoint on my problems. But he has talked to me. You know, a few times telling me like you know what I should do, like what I, what can help me, you know, for the next exam or for the next test and everything else. But this is still not comprehending to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why do you think that he doesn't have time to like help you pinpoint your? Problem? Because he has his own life, you know, and he also has his own students that he also needs to take care of. He's taking care of a couple hundred students, so mm -hmm. also like you know, he also those other students also have problems along with me. So I understand why you know he can't get to me when he needs to get to me and like I said I'm not coming to him enough I only went to him once or twice so mm -hmm. I probably need to you know, go to him a yeah. little bit more we only had like five minute conversations it's not like it's been super long there was also other students behind me wanting to ask some questions too so yeah. I didn't want to take away from their time as well yeah no I understand that and that's very nice for you to like be cautious of other students times right. too but Definitely. maybe something I suggest doing is just sending him an email and asking to set an appointment outside of his office hours that way you can get that one-on-one -on -one time with him and he can maybe help teach you a different way on how to do these problems that the tutors aren't able to teach you or just help you kind of remember the basics. Okay, you know, that is a good idea. Maybe I do need to do that. I didn't even think about that, mm -hmm. you know. What was me? I should have thought of that. But then also about my math, man. You know, I'm in Algebra 3 and, you know, I'm not doing very well in that class either. I'm right now sitting on the C. And I, you know, I didn't bomb my last exam, but I didn't do well either. Mm -hmm. You know, I got like a high D. I got like a 68%, mm -hmm. which is bringing my grade down right now to like a 71 in math. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, I also need help in that. I've been getting multiple tutors. You know, that's helped me tremendously. But I feel like there's just a little bit more. I need a little bit more edge, you know, yeah. to help me out. So what do you, what do you recommend? So in class, what do you do? Like, do you play on your phone? No, in class, I'm, you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm pretty engaged, you know. I maybe play playing my phone a few times, you know, here and there. But for, but for the most part, I'm engaged. It's just very hard. It's very complex and complicated. So, you know, I think maybe, I just, like I said, I need to study a little bit more. But mm -hmm. I feel like I know some of the material a lot more than, like, I do with chemistry. But, like mm -hmm. I said, it's just I still need more, you mm -hmm. know. I'm not an average student, you know. I'm walking on the scene. I'm, that's, that scene's not for me, man. The average is not the way I go. Mm -hmm. You know, A's or you know, nothing else is how I got raised. So I'm, I'm trying to, you know, meet that criteria. Yeah. Remind me what you're studying again. Uh, algebra three. And no, you're major. Oh, business sorry. management. Okay. So you need these. So these are core classes. Yes, that I would need for that. Yes, correct. Okay. Yes, so, all right. So in class, so you are engaged, as you said. Um, so what's so whenever you go home, you're just having trouble doing homework. I can't do. I'll be honest with you, home is just not. It's just I can't. It's hard for me to do work at mm -hmm. home. To be honest with you, like I said, I have a roommate that's mm -hmm. not in school, so he just at home just doing his own thing. He always has friends over. Always bumping music. You know, it's kind of unfortunate, but you know, I like the guy, man. I mean, he's been my roommate for two plus years. Like I have nothing wrong with him. Great guy, great personality, mm -hmm. but. You know, when you got somebody that's in school and somebody that's not in school, mm -hmm. your, your goals, your heads, is you're on two totally different points of your life. So it's just like, 
you know, like, I don't want to be rude to him, like, yo, you know, can turn down your music, because he pays rent here, too, or yo, can yeah. you do this or that? Yeah. But at the same time, you know, I, you would think you would want to respect, you know, me, you know, wanting to study and stuff. I'll tell him when I get home, like, hey, man, I'm about to study for this exam. He's like, I understand, but then still play the music the same, mm -hmm. has three or four people coming over and stuff. So, like I said, home is just not the best place for me to study and, like, mm -hmm. really concentrate, which is kind of unfortunate, because, mm -hmm. you know, it should be like that. Mm -hmm. That's why next year I'm going to end up probably getting a one-one, like, you know, to myself, so I can study focus a lot better on me since especially about my junior year next year mm -hmm. so I really gotta buckle down and get it together so I can graduate with my bachelor's you know and start my career yeah for sure so <clears throat> okay so then home we don't do homework or anything at home no no, no. so then after class do you go to the library? Like, I do go. Some, sometimes I go to the library. You know, I um I'll text my friend Sarah, and you know we'll go to the library together. And um you know she she's very good at math, so she definitely tries to help me <laughs> in that aspect. Yeah. But other than that, you know, I go sometimes by myself and everything else. But it does help me if you, I got somebody that knows what they're doing, or mm -hmm. you know that in the same class as me, or, you know, that can just help me out. It's yeah. better to, to do that than be by myself. It's, I get distracted a lot more when I'm by myself. Yeah. Than, Okay, so, so you just said that you work better when you're with someone who's in that class with you. Have yeah. you tried to like and form Sarah's in my class with me. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, That's really yeah. good. Right. So do you invite anyone else besides just you and Sarah? Make it a group or? Um, to be honest with you, I haven't. I'm not really a sociable person, so I'm not out going out my way to like, mm -hmm. you know, to be like talking to people, ask them like, yeah. hey man, can you help me out or anything? Me and Sarah just got really close because she's sitting next to me and mm -hmm. she's very smart and I, you know, I noticed that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I need people like that. You know, you're supposed to surround your, your group around people mm -hmm. that, you know, is striving, you know, trying to be the best, you know, that does better than you, just everything, you mm -hmm. know, so I can make you a better person, make you, you know, make yourself a better you, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's the situation I'm in right now. Sarah definitely does that for me, man. She's a great, she's a smart person, you know, got a lot going for her. That's why I'm trying to surround myself with people like that. Mm -hmm. And so far in that class, I haven't really met somebody with the caliber of a mindset that Sarah has. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, so whenever it comes to the future tests and exams that you have, do you think that maybe, does your teacher offer any, like, um, they all she offers like they, they offer extra reviews. they to offer test reviews they offer extra credit you yeah. know she offers a lot of things that you know that I haven't took advantage of that I need to start taking advantage mm -hmm. of definitely because yeah. like I said I do see my my grade tarnishing you know tremendously in that class I started off with an eighty five percent and now I'm down to a seventy two yeah. so like I said I definitely need to step it up man like you know my GPA ain't the best right now you know like I said I'm having some family problems back at home and stuff which is not no excuse but like I said I just definitely need to like you know for I feel like I need to surround myself more with people that you know, just have good stuff mm -hmm. going from, you know, people that's like, you know, got the A's, you know, mm -hmm. instead of the C's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's make a game plan for the, because finals are coming up in a couple weeks. Right. So is that, do you have any tests before finals or is it just finals? No, I have two tests before finals. Okay, so let's make a game plan for those two tests before finals and kind of like your action plan of how you think you should tackle studying and preparing for these exams so that you sure that you do well. Okay, that actually sounds like a great idea. Yeah. You know, I will do that. You okay, know, let's do it right now. Okay. Together. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. So, okay, so what chapter, let's talk about, which one you want to talk about, chemistry or math? Both. Okay, we'll pick one first. Chemistry. Chemistry, okay. So, what chapters are you learning in chemistry that are going to be on this next? Um, well, to be honest with you, I have to go back and look. To be honest, I, I haven't really you know, really pay attention to the, like what chapter I'm in right now. Okay, like, so let's just okay, so let's just go ahead and write this down. Okay. So let's just for example, we'll just say you're on chapter twenty two. Okay. And twenty three and twenty four. So well, actually, I'm on chapter seventeen through twenty one. Okay, so perfect. So seventeen through twenty one. So that's four chapters that you have to study for. Right. And how many days until your exam? Do you have? It's uh, two and a half weeks, so it's 17 days. Okay, so you have 17 days for four chapters. Right. So what do you think is the best like breakdown of how to study for these chapters? Are you one that needs to create um, the study guide all at once of all four chapters, or and then study each chapter like separately? Or? I'm the one that creates a study guide for all chapters. Have to each, study each chapter separately. separately? Okay, yes. so maybe let's take, let's say, like three days to Okay, so actually, let's take into consideration Thanksgiving. Okay. Are you going to actually study on, like, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of Thanksgiving break? If I want, you know, a good you grade on this exam, then yes, I will. Okay. That's what I plan on doing. Okay, so we'll not count Thanksgiving, though, because um, you should spend that with your family. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So instead of 17 days, we have 16 days, four chapters. So let's take four days for 
to create the study guide? Do you think that's enough time to like? I think I would need a little bit more time, just because of the fact that I'm really slipping right now mm -hmm. in chemistry. Like I said, I'm at a low D, and I'm not trying to bomb. Yeah. But like I said, completely fell, so I definitely want more days and just that to study for it. No, so not study. You're just oh. creating the study oh, guide. Oh, create! It's to create a study guide. Yeah. I apologize. So, do you think four days to create the study guide is enough? Or? I don't know. I think I need more. Okay. You know, well, it's it's your game plan. So, how much do you think you need? I think I need a full week to create the game. The yes, the study guide. Study guide. Okay. Yes. So one week to create the study guide, four chapters, and then you have. How many days after that? So, nine. yeah, yes, nine days. Okay. Yeah, nine plus nine. 16. 